Turn now to your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka is in the Weather Center. It was nice to see the sun shining again today, Tony, but it looks like the clouds are starting to move in a little bit. A little bit right now, but a better part of the day featuring some sunshine. Shannon's off camera. That's Is it Shannon approved? Oh, yes. There we go. <laughs> to take if, out the middle word. If again. Shannon approves. <laughs> Yeah, in fact, temperatures at around 40. Uh, you see the clouds rolling in. Now, early this evening, we may catch a flurry or a sprinkle, but if you're heading out your Friday night, really the weather looks fine. Take a look at Lincoln. We're actually holding on to a little bit more in the way of clear weather, but even here, some clouds will be rolling in. Temperatures now that have settled back into the upper 30s, uh, around 38, 39 degrees. It'll be a slow temperature drop this evening, but Barterville 37 here in Providence, 41 and lower 40s along the uh, south shore. Jamestown now at 39. Threat tracker overall now. Uh, through the weekend, uh, looking pretty good. Nothing really high impact as far as big storms or widespread precipitation. And, and once again, this weekend, temperatures will be running above average. So southern half of the state, some extra clouds to the north. You saw in Lincoln, it's you know still uh, holding out to some clear conditions. Off to our west, you see precipitation, but this is just sprinkles and flurries. So you probably don't even need an umbrella when you're heading out this evening, but you may see a couple of drops on the windshield perhaps over the next maybe two to three hours. So clouds on the increase initially, and then later in the evening, it'll clear out. Here's the wider view, but nothing really organized as far as uh, big storms. The area of low pressure to our north will pass up into northern New England, and what it will do is help to promote more of a southwest breeze tomorrow. A little breezy, but that southwest wind is going to boost the temperatures up perhaps even upper 40s. So we'll start off tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. If you have some sunshine, temperatures near the freezing mark, and then during the afternoon, still holding on to some sun. This is around 2 o'clock. Real pretty day, probably Saturday being the brighter day. Not that Sunday's real bad, but some clouds will be on the increase on Sunday. Your Saturday night looks fine. Now here's Sunday morning, early at 8 a.m., a little bit of partial sun, but then notice the clouds on the increase in response to this uh, next system approaching, but probably not until... Uh, sunset Sunday. So during the afternoon, maybe watching the football games, right? Uh, cloudy skies. And then you got a couple of light rain showers uh, by evening around 7, 8 o'clock. Nothing that would uh, bother the rivers, which are already swollen. And again, these river flood warnings, uh, just minor flooding and, and some slow receding of those waters over the weekend. So uh, not bad for this evening, perhaps early on of a flurry or a sprinkle then clearing back out. Tomorrow morning looks nice. Sunshine uh, temperature at 7 a.m. Actually above freezing already at 35, 11 a.m. at 44. It's a breezy day. You know, the wind was calm today, but a little bit of a southwest breeze kicking up just a bit, but that should boost temperatures up into the upper 40s. I mean, that's a solid uh, 10 degrees above average. Take a look at the bay forecast for tomorrow with a southwest wind at the 15 to 20 knots, but at times some gusts to 25 knots. Visibility unlimited and your water temperature now that's been uh, hovering in the middle 40s. Coming up at 12 News at 5 in a few minutes, a more detailed look at that seven-day forecast, seeing signs next week of feeling more like winter, at least in terms of temperature. All right, Tony.